I'm Eric. I have a gluten-free baking stand called Celiac's Delights, and today I'm going to be making French bread. This is one and three quarter cup of water that's been warmed up to blood temperature. It's about 95 to 100 right now. It's two tablespoons of sugar. Dissolve the sugar into the water. You also have two tablespoons of yeast. Mix that up and let it proof. You want to make sure this is going to rise. Get everybody wet. Get all the yeast eating the sugars. That's their favorite food. All right, we'll let that sit for a little bit. Put together our dry ingredients. This is two cups of white rice flour. You want it to be the finely ground white rice flour so it avoids being gritty. Although if you can't find it, you can make it work. This is a teaspoon and a half of salt. This is a whole tablespoon of xanthan gum to hold it together. And this is a teaspoon of zillium husk powder, which is also to hold it together and gives it a nice crumb. For your other wet ingredients, I have three egg whites in this cup. Or, if you don't want to throw away egg yolks or have no other use for egg yolks, you can get uh, egg whites by themselves in the store. So this is a half cup of egg whites, to which I'm going to add one teaspoon of some nice apple cider vinegar. Your other wet ingredient is two tablespoons of butter, which you will want to melt and mix in with everything else. Trying to film and pour ingredients is very awkward. So this has been beat for about three minutes and it looks like heavy sticky cake batter. Don't worry, you're not going to try and knead this. You're just going to make it into bread loaves. Now I've got this nice one here that breaks it up into four little baguettes. You don't have to use anything fancy like this. You can use something as simple as a nice sheet tray to put it on, but you're going to have to form the loaves by hand so that they look like bread or make them look like whatever you want, really. Or a bread pan, or this other fancy bread pan. They're all in the pan, they're all even-ish. To shape them, wet hands are very handy. I've got a bowl of water off to the side here. And we'll make these look like bread. That one's a little bigger, so I'll move some gobs over. Make it about even so it'll all cook the same. Then, one last touch. I don't have a lame, a lame, I don't know how it's pronounced, L-A-M-E. A knife for scoring the top of your French bread. So I have this serrated edge knife that I dip in the water. It needs to do a cut and roll over. And this actually does help with some of the gases that are gonna be moving through this dough. And that's ready to go. 
due to the amount of yeast that's in there, it's only going to need about 15 minutes before it's ready. At 15 minutes, I'm going to check it, and then I'm going to butter the top, and then throw it into a 400 degree oven. Okay, so it's nice and puffy. And I've got a tablespoon of butter here that's been melted. And I'm just going to dress the tops real quick. Add just a little bit of extra flavor to it. And you kind of have to move quick with this recipe. You've got all that yeast in there. Ooh, that's warm. Making things move along pretty quickly. So a quick plug for Kerrygold Irish Butter. This is my absolute favorite butter to use. It's very tasty and according to some doctors it is a butter that is healthy for you. So this is headed for the oven for 400 degrees at 45 minutes. Recipe. And here they are out of the oven. As you can see, whatever shape you made when they were lumpy and rising, they just kind of grow into that. And then the outside hardens, and then you have this wonderful, moist interior. You're going to want to let these sit for a bit and cool. Otherwise, they're going to be too soft. I mean, you could just bite into them now, and it's a lot of fun to coat them with butter and jam and have a wonderful sandwich. But I recommend you let them cool. The other questions I get a lot is, what do you do with this bread? And the obvious answer is, I eat it. And tonight, I'm making a Italian steak sandwich with peppers and steak, of course, and onions and mushrooms. Bye.